Hello everyone, welcome to another vacuum cleaner unboxing. Well, quite a few of you have asked me to test the new Miele Blizzard and courtesy of AO.com I've been sent this particular one free of charge and uh, all I have to do is write a review on their website and do a short video review. So this is just the unboxing where I'll show you all the parts that come in the box and a brief demonstration but I'll be doing a full demo in a few days on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Right, this is quite exciting, a bit of a departure for Miele, who have always, up until now, made bagged vacuum cleaners, and in the past, they have poo-pooed bagless machines, but a lot of people want bagless cleaners now, so at least Miele are offering the option of a bagged unit as opposed to, sorry, a bagless unit as opposed to their bagged versions. Well, here it is in a very nice white colour. First thing out of the box is a new style of extension wand. I've certainly not seen a Miele vacuum with this type of extension wand before. It's uh, quite square actually, it's not quite rounded. It's telescopic, of course. So, let me see, which way do I pull it? There we go, a little bit stiff, it's brand new, there we are. So you've got an adjustable, relatively lightweight, strong extension wand. Inside this box, we should have all the cleaning tools. Now at the moment, this is the top of the line model, it is in the UK anyway. And it comes with a few bits um, and a few features that the standard models don't have. We've got the instruction book, I'll be reading that later. I'll just quickly mention the energy label, we'll see what that says. So for energy use, this gets a C. I'm not sure on the wattage, I think it's a 1200 watt motor on this particular Miele. Um, the dust emissions though, it gets an A rating, so it should be good for people with allergies. It should emit only clean air out of the exhaust. For carpet cleaning performance, dust pickup of carpets, it gets a B. For dust pickup of hard floors, it gets an A. And it's 76 decibels, which isn't too bad. It actually says 1100 watts on the bottom of this sticker. So I'll check the actual rating plate on the machine. This is the handle, and what makes this different to the lower end models, this is a remote control handle. It uses RF frequency controls, so there's no lead inside the hose to connect it to the machine. It will control the machine. You can turn the cleaner on and off and vary the power from this hand grip. Uh, it uses a little battery that's inside here. So that's good. That's why I like this model, because I'll be able to adjust it without having to fiddle about with the controls on the machine. This has got a separate dusting brush. There are two tools stored on board, but the dusting brush is uh, supplied separately on this model. Then we've got the hose, which I need to attach the, um, the handle to. I think I can attach it to either end, actually. I'm wondering whether, possibly not, actually. Now, I think the handle will attach to this end. Yeah, that just clicks into place, so that's the handle attached to the hose. So this has three floor heads. <laughs> that is absolutely massive. So if you've got a big house with large areas of hard flooring, this could be the model for you. This is the Miele Parquet Twister, but this is the XL version. It's very wide, so not quite suitable for smaller areas, but if you've got large areas of hard floor to clean, you should make short work of them using that nozzle. That's absolutely huge. So that's uh, your dedicated parquet nozzle for your delicate hard floors. For your general cleaning, this is a brand new nozzle. I've never seen this before. I've never had a mealer with this nozzle. This is the Ecotech Plus nozzle. This is your general carpet and hard floor nozzle. And it's got a very deep um, and wide suction groove. You've got litter pickers either side in red to help deal with pet hair and clinging litter. And you've also got a foot operated pedal. 
which lowers a brush at the front and the back for cleaning hard floors. So this nozzle will be suitable for cleaning your carpets and if you just, just want to go onto your kitchen floor without changing a nozzle you can actually use this nozzle. The parquet twister is good for more delicate flooring. But also, what's this? I think this is another type of hard floor head. Right, this is a Miele SRD and I suspect it's this nozzle that gets the A rating for cleaning hard floors. All this is, it's quite a wide nozzle, it's got four little wheels and a squeegee either side of the nozzle. So that again, that's a brand new nozzle for Miele, I've never seen that nozzle before supplied with any Miele vacuum cleaner I've unboxed. So that's all the nozzles, there's no turbo brush with this, if you've got cats or dogs and pet hair they do a cat and dog version without the radio frequency handle control but it does come with a full sized Miele turbo brush but I think you'll be able to buy it as an option if you want it. So let's take the machine out um, There we go. Seems fairly bulky. It's not too heavy. It feels solidly built. This is uh, made in Germany. So there we go, folks. Who'd have thunk it? A bagless Miele vacuum cleaner. Something we, some people never thought they'd see. But Miele have certainly done, done this very well. It's a stylish looking, futuristic looking vacuum. Here's the underside. So for manoeuvrability you've got four very smooth running casters. These ones have the Miele dynamic drive system which is which is supposed to move over thresholds and, and different areas of your home easier. It has a bit of a give in it, it's a little bit of a little bit like a bit of four-wheel drive, but with a bit of suspension. You've also got your parking slot at the back. You'd normally use that when you're carrying the cleaner or storing it. So the large tools, not this one, this doesn't have the parking slot on it, but your parquet twister nozzle fits on there and so will the standard nozzle. There's also a parking bracket on the side of the cleaner too. So just check the wattage for you. It does actually say maximum 1200 watts. It says 1100 watts, maximum 1200. And it is made in Germany. So here we have, this at the side here, is your parking bracket for only when you want to pause vacuuming if you want to answer the door or answer the phone obviously when the tube is attached you can actually just park it there so you're not having to put the tube on the floor and bend down to pick it up you can just have it conveniently on the side you've got a mains on off switch here but of course once it's on you can control the machine all the controls from the handle You've got Comfort Rewind, which is a good system, which basically means when you rewind the flex, you only have to press the Comfort button once. You don't have to keep your hand or your foot on the pedal. You just press it once, and it will rewind the flex entirely into the machine. This is the back of the cleaner. There we go. You can see you've got the two small accessories. So we've got uh, quite a short crevice tool and another new design, completely new design for Miele. This is your small upholstery nozzle for doing your upholstery, your curtains, etc. Instead of the velour strips that we used to see on a nozzle of this type to help deal with pet hair, it's got two sort of textured, rubbery type textured strips which I assume will serve the same purpose of trying to remove pet hair from your upholstery, etc. If you want any optional tools, you can check Miele's website. They do mini turbo nozzles, um, extra long crevice tools, dusting brushes, all sorts of different tools you can buy as an option to increase the versatility 
of your Miele. I'm assuming, I'll check before I do the full review, but I'm assuming that all current Miele tools should fit these new Blizzard models. Right, let's have a quick look at the bagless unit. I think we have to pull it up. I'm not sure. Oops, there we go. <laughs> Didn't like the sound of that. Should have checked the instructions first, but anyway. I think that's okay. I think it's because it's new. There we go. It's a bit easier that way. Quite a large capacity by the looks of it. There is a maximum fill line there. And uh, yes, there's not much I can say about it. It does look uh, quite interesting for a bagless machine. There's a handle here. And to empty it, I believe it's this button at the bottom. That's it, and that opens up the uh, hinge. So you can empty it into the bin. And it possibly opens up further for maintenance. I'll be checking everything before I do a full demo. The instructions for this cleaner before you buy are online to view. If you want to go to Miele's website you can see, you can read the instruction book online to familiar, familiarise yourself. So that's that. Now there is a filter as well, a pleated HEPA filter. We can just about see it through that hole. See that white pleated filter there? This also has a comfort clean feature. There's a button here which you can activate manually, but apparently if the machine senses that the filter has become clogged, it will automatically do the comfort clean program. So it'll turn the machine off and I believe what it does, it rotates the filter automatically and there's um, a little device inside it that flicks the dirt off it. And I'm assuming the dirt ends up somewhere else, but that's quite good. So hopefully the efficiency should be maintained with this machine. Either the machine will do it for you or when you think you've been picking up a lot of fine dust and feel that the filter would benefit from a clean, you just press comfort clean and it does it for you. Apart from the comfort clean button and the mains on off and the comfort rewind, there are no other controls. We do have a little panel here that illuminates to show you the settings. So you've got the minimum setting for your carpets and delicate items. Another setting up which is for your area rugs. The next setting up is for your fitted carpets and then maximum for your hard floors. So there we go. All very interesting. That's it, that went on okay. It should stand up on its end. I see, yes, it does. Hang on, let me just rewind that. Stands up on its end and it does. It is secure on its end, so when you're cleaning stairs, you'll be able to stand it. I'll check. It looks rather large. I'm not sure if it'll actually fit a standard stair. So you might have to actually hold the machine while using it on these stairs. This side is the exhaust vent. Uh, that side doesn't look like it is the actual vent, it's just, uh, just a textured panel. Let's pop the hose on. I'll turn the machine on briefly and then I'll uh, use it around my home and then make a demo of it. And that's a bit of cardboard to remove. So that just pushes in. What I do miss about this particular cleaner, obviously it's the design of it, but I do like the Miele cleaners that have a swivel hose at the top, but obviously because of the design they haven't been able to do that with this model, so you've just got the hose that comes out at the front there. It does swivel though either end to stop it from coiling up from getting tangled up. So, yes, it looks, looks pretty impressive, but I will say to you, to compare it to a regular full-sized Miele bag cylinder vacuum, it does seem quite a bit larger. Seems fairly manoeuvrable though. Let's pop on the extension wand. Now one thing, I do like the remote handle, but one thing this lacks that you can get on some models is a built-in dusting brush 
that you can actually just you, you just have to take the extension wand off and then there's a brush that you can just pull out and use it for dusting your crumbs away from your toaster or whatever so I'd, I'm a bit disappointed it doesn't have that feature but I am pleased it's got the remote handle so really that is a little bit of a disadvantage I think to have the dusting brush separate there's nowhere to store that on board so you have to make sure you don't lose that let's clip there we go slightly different type of fitting for Mila and let's put the Ecotech plus floor head on until it clicks well that's better it's adjusting a bit smoother now so it does go quite high up if you're very tall we can adjust it lower according to your preference I think I'll have it about there when you first plug in the cleaner the maximum light on the control panel will illuminate if it isn't illuminated you just have to press the mains on off switch on the machine and now it's in standby mode so now we can switch the machine on and off using the remote handle so if I turn it on now it will start in maximum So it's relatively quiet, I can reduce the power, so now it's on minimum, so I'll just have a quick go with the Ecotech floor head, so on minimum it's relatively easy to push, I'll turn it up to the carpet setting, but now it's quite difficult. And on maximum, so that is, that's the trouble with some of these eco floor heads, they're very hard to push, certainly on maximum it's really difficult. So on carpet setting, Yeah, it's quite a workout, I have to say, first impression. If you think that's going to be an issue for you, if you buy the cat and dog model or buy the optional full-size turbo brush for this cleaner, you'll find it a lot easier to push and you'll probably get better pet hair pickup. But I'll be testing all that in my full demo. So, first impressions, it's very well made. It's quiet, um, but it's quite bulky looking. <laughs> it's hard to push on my short pile carpet. But all in all, it seems, well, it seems a good try for Mila. I'll need to own this machine for a few months to give my full review on it, but I will be doing a proper demo. But even on this very, just a tiny bit of carpet, there we go. It's not going to pick up much, I've just whizzed over, but there is some dust already coating the inside of that container. I don't know if we can quite see with the lights. If I open it, you might be able to see a bit clearer. So there is some, and actually, if you can quite catch that, there is some gritty particles. That is surprising that a suction cleaner, I don't know where those have come from because I have vacuumed only recently. But that's just on a, a very clean looking carpet, so obviously I'll be putting down some extra dirt on carpets and floors in my demo. But there you go. So anyway, a bit of a departure for Mila to offer a bagless lineup. We'll see how successful it is, and maybe Mila will launch a bagless upright. But yeah, I can't really say much about it. I've only just opened it, but we'll have to see. <laughs> There we go. That's the Mila Blizzard CX-1 Comfort Powerline Vacuum Cleaner. Thanks, AO.com. I'll be doing my full review on your website. And also, the full demo of this machine, where I'll put it through its paces, will be on my channel very shortly. So if you have any questions about this machine, please ask in the comments section below. Please subscribe, and you'll be updated when I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.